Welcome to Randomator Reviews, and my name is Ryan. Today I'm going to be talking about City of the Living Dead, which is a 1980 released movie directed by Lucio Fulci. So our movie does open with a bunch of people sitting around in a circle in the midst of a seance where the woman whom we're assuming is a medium or a psychic does see a really horrifying image of a priest taking his own life. And this terrifies her so much that she just drops on the floor. She's presumed dead. I'm really hoping that someone actually confirmed that she was dead, but she, she wasn't dead. So there's a journalist that is following the story, goes to the site where she's buried and she just wakes up in the coffin, in the ground, the most horrific place you could imagine ever opening your eyes. And he does save her, gets her out. She then tells him what her vision exactly was. And it ends up that it's a town, not super far away, but the priest that did take his life somehow ended up opening a gate gateway to hell where the living dead are trying to come through. So Mary, our psychic and Peter, our journalist, then combine their forces and set out to go to the town of Dunwich, which is the town we're talking about with the priest, to try to prevent the full opening of the gateway before All Saints Day, which is a short few days away. And unfortunately for them, there are both the forces of evil that have gotten out and even the mortal townsfolk that are kind of standing in their way. So they have a lot to fight to try to prevent all this stuff from hitting the fan. So my likes, we'll jump into that right away. There is a scene with a drill and also a scene with a couple in a car that were shot so well. Just the different angles they used were so good. And the, the effects in them were just incredible. And I feel like the way they were shot just added to how awesome they looked. And I really appreciated it. And I thought it was just beautiful and made what was happening with the effects even worse for you to watch, which is the goal for the movie. You want to be grossed out. You want to be horrified. You want to think if you see something so bad that your eyes are going to bleed and then you're going to vomit up your entire digestive tract, essentially. You'll know what I mean if you've seen the movie Finger Guns. Um, the maggot shower scene, which it's not an actual shower of maggots as much as it's a window that blows open while everyone's in a room talking and they just get showered with them. And it lasted for what felt like an eternity. And it just kept happening. And you're kind of thinking while you're watching this scene, like, Oh my God, what if it goes up their nose? What if someone sneezes and their mouth opens and they're just like, just chomping down on those like oh, bleh, horrible, I'm not a bug person. So that was just gross. And I thought they did a really good job. And unfortunately for the actors, it did look like for most part, they were real bugs. They didn't quite look like maggots to me. They kind of looked like mealworms. I had a lot of experience with mealworms having leopard geckos for a big part of my life. I was just like, oh, but still like having that many of them on you is just repulsive, but hey, good job. Um, my dislikes, Father Thomas, the priest that took his own life, I felt like he wasn't as scary or imposing a figure as he could have been. He was creepy in a kind of like pedophile sort of way, which they don't ever allude to, but I just got that vibe from him. He was creepy, but I never felt like I was like scared of him. I was just kind of like, ugh, ew, you know. Uh, I was a little disappointed in the zombies that are in this, in the first half. There are zombies in the latter half that I really liked that are like Fulci zombies, you know, you know what they are. But I was also kind of unclear if the ones in the earlier parts were supposed to be traditional zombies or if they were more so supposed to be ghosts. 
because it could go either way. I could see them being more effective as ghosts rather than zombies because I was just kind of like, eh, mm, meh, but still cool. I felt like this was a really good movie. It is a little slow between the action and the meat of the movie, but it is definitely a good watch. It is worth watching. I do give it a three out of five. I liked it. Uh, this is the first installment of the Gates of Hell trilogy. I'm going to post the other two in sequential order. Um, so I found this on the Shutter app. I do have uh, all three of the trilogy in physical form, but I didn't really feel like digging through all of this to find them. It was just easier to pull the app up and go, oh, okay. That's first world problems, you know. But it is available in the Shutter app if you have the Shutter app. It's also available, I found it on Amazon and eBay and multi-formats, DVD, Blu-ray, whatever you like. Didn't look for VHS, but I know a lot of people don't like that anymore. I like VHS, but, you know. Um, have you guys seen the movie? What did you think of the movie? Did you like the drill scene as much as I like the drill scene? Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you thought. Like the video if you did like the video. Or if you didn't like the video, you could like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. And if you want to get all of my notifications of upload, hit the bell. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter at Reanimator. And I never know how to end these videos, so have fun. Watch City of the Living Dead. Bye.